So you're welcome to another car tutorial video and in this video we shall be looking how to check live data on your car using OBD2 scanner or simply we can simply say uh, we are looking how to live stream data from your car using OBD2 scanner. In this video we shall be using the um, ELM327 OBD2 scanner. Of course I've talked about this very um, OBD2 scanner on this YouTube channel, if you want to see more or know more about this um, scanner, you can easily go to the archives of this YouTube channel and you see how to use them. The best scanner app you can use on them because definitely this doesn't come with a wired port, which simply means um, it's a Bluetooth OBD2 scanner, which simply means you have to install a car scanner app on your devices, be it an Android device or an Apple device. That's your Android phone, MacBook, or whatsoever. So that's what we shall be using in this video. So now, um, many people might be confused and be asking, what are live data? Um, simply, a car live data is um, can be simply put as an information, a real-time information or data that your car scanner app retrieves from the engine control unit of your car. And of course, this is gotten from the various sensors that are in your car. And of course, uh, many people like using the live data while driving also while on the move at the moment you can see i'm stagnant um i'm not moving the car is not on yet so many people can easily use this live streaming data to check the performance of their car on the go yes it's real time you can easily detect um any part of your system that's your car system that is malfunctioning and of course um try to see if you can repair or fix them so that's what we shall be looking at in this video and of course if you're coming across this channel for the first time chibuzo Ago is my name. It's a technology related channel, a how to channel that easily teaches you how to do things all by yourself. And this is the car um, segment, or let me say car section, because I cover almost all areas of technology. So that's more reason why you can hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so that I get notified whenever I put up my next video. Though they might not be car related, but like I said, it covers all aspects of technology. So having done that, let's jump into this um, video, how to easily um, check the live data of your car using an ELM327 OBD2 scanner. So basically, you don't really need much to all you need is just an OBD2 scanner. Like I said, it can be any other OBD2 scanner, but in this video, we shall be using the ELM327 OBD2 scanner. If you want to purchase this, I've put up lots of video and also link whereby you can buy them cheaply. So go and search for them on my YouTube channel. And secondly, you need um, a scanner app. You must have installed any on your devices, be it an Android or iOS device. So this is an Android device. And in this video, we shall be using the... Let me ski. Okay, we shall be using this app let me see that's a car scanner app this the free version actually so is limited on the go while i'm doing this video you see the reason why you can easily upgrade to the pro version so and also if you don't want to use make use of this app you can easily go to my place also i've put up a video showing you the best car scanner app you can use on your elm327 obd2 scanner so having done that you need this and all you have to do is to connect this to um the obd2 port which is just below the steering side of your car let me connect that and i'll come back just shortly so I've connected the OBD2 scanner, that's the LM327 OBD2 scanner to the OBD2 port. So now all I have to do, um, first of all, let me see, you have to, hope this is clear enough, For we have to turn on the Bluetooth of your devices. As you see, I've turned this one on, so let me keep it a little bit. So once it's turned on, um, as in this case, like I said, I'm not really on motion, as you can see, my car doors are open. Since the two doors are open and of course I don't want to drive. I just want to show you how you can check the live data. So since I don't want to drive, you don't need to turn the car on just to put on the ignition at one step. As you can see, the car is up, the breeze is already blowing, but I didn't switch it on. I just um, turned it on, move it to the point one. So that's just it. So now it's on. The next thing you have to do is to, now let's launch the car scanner app. The app is on. I just want to see. Uh, I want us to have a very better view of what I'm trying to see. Yep. Okay, the car scanner app is up. So now all I have to do is to connect. And let's see. It's diagnosing. Um, I want to catch a better view. Okay. As you can see, it's fully connected. Let me show you this. Uh, shades of the sun are actually disturbing us. So as you can see, you can see connected, connected. That's the 
ELM connection is called an ECU connection. Both are connected. So ensure that both is connected before you can carry on on your next step. So now once that is done, let me see. Since it's coming from the store. Okay, let me switch it off the sun rays. Okay, yes, I think it's a little bit perfect now. I have to shut the door. So now these are all the um, functions I can carry out with this Cascan app, which is a free version. Now let's move to this point. You can see where it says live data. So that's what we want to check at the moment. So even though the car is static, but at least you can still um, pick up can still pick up some information. Let me see if I can keep this down. No, it's still over. Oh okay let's just tap on live data i want to see okay i tap on live data so we say select live data mode of course um, um separate combined let's choose combined now let's see these are the various parameters live data parameters you can check oh the sun is actually killing me I don't know how to fix this cam. Okay, uh, yes, I have. So you can check the <coughs> OBD2 um, model voltage. You can check the calculated engine load value. You can check the engine coolant temperature. You can check the short term fuel uh, and trim bank one, long term fuel and trim bank one also. Um, intake manifold that's the absolute pressure the engine rpm the vehicle speed um this this will come into effect when the car is in motion like i said this car is still static you can also check the timing advance the intake air temperature and the math that's a, a mass airflow rate sensor so now like i said there's a free mode and at the free mode you can only check two parameter that's a, i haven't subscribed for the pe version of this car scanner app so you can see um let me check select on check this um i checked a few hours ago let me check other parameters last uh, of the two mobile voltage and which other parameter is on okay the mass airflow rates uh let me check intake in this case let me switch to the intake air temperature so now once you've done all that all you have to do uh is to tap on okay so you ask you cast kind of pro look at see see in the free version you can select minimum of two parameters let me see okay i selected three parameters so let me remove one the math will be gone so now it's now two parameters so now I'll tap on okay so as you can see this is the live data like i told you it's not okay though it's still reading okay since we're checking the math oh let me see if i can show you some data from what is coming up here right here i can see um, it's reading actually even though the, since because okay the parameter i chosen is the intake air flow rate so of course air is still entering the car as you can see is reading though um it's reading yes as you can see the voltage um now for you to fully understand this you need to like get custom and um, get yourself a custom with the app you're using and uh the units and of course the the voltage and everything is giving up you might not understand this very one you're watching at so all you have to do is to get yourself acquainted you can make more research on the app you want to use and of course the values that they shall be popping out in the live data and of course you get used to that now as i mean i'm moving of course all this data so all you have to do is to hang like this um I'll have to like hang it over in my car while I'm moving I can still see the data like I said that's why it's called live data the RPM of your car and whatsoever you can check that on this so that's how you can easily do a live stream data I know this video might not be so clear enough because of the sun rays and of course the sun shades are ongoing on this car but um, believe me you once you carry out this on your own you easily get the information you are looking of okay this is the figures and the values below so we still in the case I should upgrade to car scanner pro so you know as on all that so I have to upgrade after watching this video so that I can easily check other car parameters but there's still other function you can check um, other um, parameters you can check using the cask as so you can see the dashboard the reservoir the diagnostic code I've talked so much about this very one so no need repeating it in this video so these are what you can um, the diagnostic can really easily carry out using the car scanner app um, of course there are so many I have to get out of that car because the heat is getting intense. So after watching this video and you still want to carry out um, live data, you want to check the live data of your car or you want to carry out a live data streaming on the go while you're driving, all you have to do is to get a good OBD2 um, 
car scanner install the proper of the two car scanner app you can easily upgrade to the pro version if you want so that you can easily check out more parameters so now i'm um, having done that and um, if you feel like this video give it a thumbs up and also if you're confused in any section go to the comment section and ask your question it's just a brief video i just want to put up and don't forget to um, hit the subscribe button before you leave so that it automatically become part of this channel go to the playlist of this video um of this youtube channel and of course watch other car related tutorials if that is your interest so we'll see you in my next video bye bye for now